Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how we can make simple Python databases and we're going to use SQLite. In Python it's called SQLite 3 and you're going to use it. Very simple library, very short library to learn. You're going to learn it in like a day or two and use it. So it's very important, especially if you're maybe a game developer or something, you're going to want to store some data like in your office or your application needs. Uh, something that can store data maybe you're making a system for someone or for yourself and you need a place to store data you're going to need to make a database and for that we're going to use SQLite 3 so let's get started head on to your Python interpreter I use idle you can use anything like PyCharm Notepad++ whatever but to start we start by importing SQLite 3 and what that does is just imports the module and for you to create a database file because you need to, you need to uh, store your data somewhere in a file you're just going to say um, give it a variable name maybe I'll call mine dbase but you'll see uh, many people are going to call it con for connection but you can choose any variable name that you like so dbase is equal to sqlite3.connect and what it does just creates a database file I can call it um, maybe our data dot db the extension doesn't uh, matter but most people for database files they'll use an extension like um, they'll use the dot db you will see others dot sqlite 3 uh, most people will go for like dot dbase so it really depends with what you choose that doesn't matter you can even call it your name my name is Lenny so when it comes to like the extensions don't worry about that all you need to know is that you're going to create a database file and it will be stored in the same directory as this Python script so all you're going to do is just open the database so I can take that out open a database file oops oh my I just don't seem to type today don't know what's wrong so dbase we now have our database file and got a dbase and it's always good practice that when you exit out of your database or out of your script you have to close it so you're just going to say dbase dot close and that will just automatically close your database so let's check it out I'll go to where I stored it I stored it here and for now we don't have the database file so I'm just going to run this script and once you run it we should get our database so it has started and it has run and it has stopped so let's check it out and for sure you see we have our data for now don't worry about this extension this one is uh, this icon sorry this icon I got it from an application I used an application called DB browser for SQLite that's an application that can help you to look at your database it really um, asks you to get it it's a really good application for now but if you don't need it for now you're just going to work with Python scripts no need for other um, applications so you can see we have our data and it's zero kilobytes so we don't have any data in it so we can head on to our script and say whenever we open say print and this I'm using uh, Python 2 so if you're using uh, Python 3 you're going to need to like um, you're going to need to put brackets every time you put print statement SQLite is available for both Python 2 and Python 3 so no worries whether you choose Python 3 Python 2 that doesn't matter so you can run and you can see the results so database opened whoops sorry about that database open database closed and that's what was happening in this database it was open then closed so Python has automatically created that that database file for you and you've just used them 
the library SQLite so that's how easy it is to, to work with SQLite and in the next video I'm going to show you how we can add some data into our database that's what's called creating a table for now I hope you enjoyed that uh, that video it's a really simple way of starting out with SQLite nothing too complicated and I hope that you're going to like and subscribe this video as always thanks for watching